Hey Pixies! So today we are going to do a fun Easter Manny. Now I had pressed record on my phone to record the entire process and after I did my dip and got to this point I looked up and my phone wasn't recording and I checked for some reason right after I hit record like 20 seconds later it stopped recording so I am going to show you I have bunny nose on my pinky rise and shine on my ring finger emerald on the middle finger clear sky on my index finger and magnolia on my thumb these are all double dip everything will be linked below for you I do have a discount code for double dip which is pixie 10 but everything will be below and so basically I don't have any of the dipping process recorded unfortunately and I had wanted to show kind of like a basic dip app application because I haven't done that in a while so I wanted to show you that whole process but it didn't work out so in a week or two I'll make sure I do that for you guys and show you so I'm gonna go ahead and go over some of the products I'm going to be using. These are some stamping gels that I got off Amazon because we are going to hand paint on a bunny. So I'll be using my Model 1's gel base and top coat and some stamping plates from Amazon because on the other fingers I'm going to stamp on some spring flowers and butterflies and just do some really cute spring Easter nail art. So I am going to reshape my nails and here I am, everything's all cleaned up, I'm reshaped and we are going to start our nail art. So I like to use an alcohol prep pad after I do my buffing and filing just to clean everything up, make sure I'm happy with everything, there's no weird spots. So I like to do that. So I am going to get started with my Model 1's gel base and I'm going to apply that to each nail just a thin layer on each nail and then I'm going to cure that for 30 to 45 seconds and then I will come back here in a second and do my stamping. Okay, so now that we have cured our gel base coat, I am going to take a look at my stamping plates and take my Born Pretty stamping polish, which all of the stamping stuff I have is from Amazon. So I'll try to find all of them and link it for you, but I really love my stamping stuff that I got from Amazon. But I'm going to take the white polish and apply that to the stamp that I want to pick up, which are these two little birds. And I do get off camera with this first one. I'm sorry, after I saw that my camera wasn't recording, I got so kind of flustered that I was just off my game then. So, but you do see the rest of the stamping and I do have a stamping video for you, which I can link here where I explain everything, but you're basically just putting that stamping polish over the area that you want to pick up, pressing your jelly stamper on it, and then this is a lint roller that I'm using to remove any of the polish from the jelly stamper that I don't want to end up on my nail. And then you just look through it, line it up, and lightly press it onto your nail. So that's all that you do for that. I'm going to let you watch me finish up with my stamping, and whenever I come back on to hand paint the bunny, I will come back and explain that. Okay, so the stamping polish that I just used from Born Pretty does not need to be cured. It just dries on its own like regular nail polish, but it does dry pretty quick. So it doesn't take as long to dry as a regular nail polish would. And I just do all of my cleanup at the end. So that excess that you see there, I just clean it up, you'll see at the end here. So I'm taking my stamping gel 
and I'm mixing white and red to make pink for the nose and the ears. And then I have black there for the eyes and white for the body. So once I get the pink that I want, I go ahead and I take this little paint brush. I got this one from Walmart and I just dip into that white and then I start doing a half moon at the tip of my nail. So the bunny's ears are going to go up towards my cuticle. So I'm doing that half moon at the tip of my nail. And once I have that saturated in white, then I will start on the ear. We're going to have one ear go straight up and then one ear is going to be flopped. I've always loved floppy eared bunnies, so I thought that was appropriate. But for the ear, I just made a line about as long as I wanted it to be. And then I kind of curved out from there and formed the ear. So if you're, I'm not very artistic at all. So if I can do this, you can definitely do it and probably do it better than I did. But I also left some of the white, whenever you're doing with it with gel, it kind of, since gel's thicker, it kind of sometimes spreads a little. I kind of let that spread here and there and it kind of gave it more of an appearance of fur then. Um, so I just kind of let that be and it's kind of wispy in some spots, but I kind of liked it because it makes it look more like fur sticking up. And then for that ear that's flopped, I did a line that went about half up and then curved to the side and then just filled that in until I got to the thickness that I wanted. Now that ear is a little bit longer, <laughs> but that's okay. So. I'm going to go ahead and do that and then once I have everything looking the way I want it to, I start with that pink and I just do a little bit of pink in the center of that standing ear and then on the underside of the flopped ear. And then once I'm done with that, I'm now working on the nose. So I just do the nose there at the very tip of my nail and then I'm going to take my dotting tool here in a second and I'm going to do I'm using the smallest end of my dotting tool and I just lightly then will dip into that black and just do tiny little eyes, one on each side. So that's my bunny and I think he turned out super cute. I go ahead and I cured that stamping gel for about 60 seconds and then I cured it for another 30, so a total of 90 seconds. Just because it's a little bit thicker, it does take more time to dry. And I just wanted to make sure that it was completely dry before I moved on to this step. So this is my Model Ones gel base coat again. So I am applying that base coat to each nail and then I will cure that for 30 seconds and come back here and clean up the extra stamping polish that's on the skin around my nails. So I just take the 100% acetone um, nail polish remover and I put a little bit in the cap of the bottle and I take a Q-tip and just clean up all the edges really good. And I like to apply my gel base coat right before applying the gel top coat because I was getting peeling at the ends of my nails whenever I was only finishing with the top coat. Now I know that we top coated before we did the stamping, but it doesn't hurt, not top coat. I know we did the base coat before we did the stamping, but it doesn't hurt to apply another layer of that base coat and then just cure that for 30 seconds and immediately apply the top coat. So I just wanna make sure that it is nice and set because I'm actually going to be wearing this manicure for about five days, which will be a record for me. And I will probably be itching to get it off <laughs> at that point. But I wanna wear it through Easter because we're going to see my family. So I wanted to have my cute little Easter nails for Easter and have them for that. So I'll be wearing this for a number of days. So this is my Model Lunch Gel Top Coat. After I cured the base coat for 30 seconds, I came back on, apply the gel top coat, cap the free ends. I don't always do that, but I am because I want it to last this time for Easter. So I cured that top coat then for 60 seconds, and this is our final product. I think it is so adorable. I'm applying my cuticle oil while I do that. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications so you don't miss any videos. If you have any questions, leave a comment below or find me on Instagram at Dipping Pixie. I'd love to see you over there as well. And that is it for this one, guys, and I will see you in the next one.